everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're revving up the engines and charging straight into the heart of next-gen defense innovation with the Tempest Mobile Fires platform, a rugged, commercial, off-the-shelf-based combat vehicle that's just been unveiled by V2X at the Association of the United States Army Annual Meeting, fusing dual launchers and cutting-edge sensor fusion to unleash rapid, layered protection against drone swarms in the harshest battlefields imaginable. If you're a military tech aficionado, a defense strategy enthusiast, or simply captivated by how affordable, adaptable systems like this are revolutionizing counter-unmanned aerial systems warfare, you're in for an electrifying exploration. Because the Tempest isn't just another anti-drone setup, it's a versatile, vehicle-mounted powerhouse, engineered to detect, engage, and neutralize Class 2 to Class 3 drones even in foul weather, all while keeping forward troops shielded from aerial threats without straining budgets or supply lines. Built on proven commercial off-the-shelf components for swift deployment and scalability, this platform stole the spotlight on October 13th, 2025 at the AUSA event in Washington, D.C., where V2X demonstrated its seamless integration with existing fleets for on-the-move counter-unmanned aerial systems operations, signaling a bold step toward expeditionary defense that's as tough as it is smart. We'll delve into its advanced capabilities in depth, provide a thorough technical overview drawn from the latest demonstrations, discuss its pivotal role in contemporary warfare, and share the most current developments as of October 16, 2025, including its rapid fielding potential and synergy with joint forces. So settle in comfortably, and let's lock onto everything you need to know about the Tempest Mobile Fires platform. The Tempest capabilities establish it as a formidable pioneer in counter-unmanned aerial systems defense, constructed as a commercial, off-the-shelf-based mobile platform to furnish layered, dynamic protection against drone incursions by merging detection, identification, and engagement within a unified, resilient framework that functions flawlessly in contested settings, ranging from confined urban corridors to expansive open fields. Fundamentally, this vehicle distinguishes itself through swift threat mitigation fitted with dual weapon launchers that can dispatch kinetic effectors such as net guns or interceptor drones to disable Class 2 to Class 3 unmanned aerial systems, small to medium drones weighing between 5 and 130 pounds, at distances up to 500 meters, complemented by its embedded electronic warfare suite that disrupts radio frequency signals or spoofs global positioning system coordinates to disorient swarms prior to impact, thereby safeguarding forward operating bases, convoys, or infantry formations without reallocating scarce aerial resources. The system's sensor fusion amalgamates electro-optical infrared cameras for round-the-clock tracking up to 3 kilometers, radar arrays for all-weather identification of low-radar cross-section objectives, and acoustic sensors for auditory signature discernment, permitting it to categorize threats instantaneously and prioritize countermeasures, for instance, unleashing a counter drone from one launcher as the other prepares for operator-directed intervention. Its commercial off-the-shelf foundation implies construction atop established automotive chassis, like the Polaris MRZR or Joint Light Tactical Vehicle variants, affording velocities up to 60 miles per hour for prompt repositioning and a payload capacity of 500 pounds for supplementary effectors or batteries rendering it optimal for expeditionary units requiring lightweight, expandable safeguards devoid of the intricacy of bespoke platforms. In operational contexts, consider a patrol navigating a drone-vulnerable sector. The Tempest advances forward. Its sensors illuminate a hostile quadcopter two kilometers distant. The artificial intelligence consolidates data to verify the peril propels a net interceptor from the primary launcher to entangle its rotors mid-flight and simultaneously disrupts its command signal with the secondary system, all while the vehicle accelerates to cover at 40 miles per hour, converting a potential fatal ambush into a neutralized incident that sustains the team's momentum. To fully comprehend its engineering sophistication, let's scrutinize the technical specifications and operational dynamics, as V2X's architecture embodies a refined amalgamation of commercial off-the-shelf elements with military-grade fortification, yielding a platform that is both dependable and reactive, tipping the scales at roughly 4,000 pounds in foundational setup with an 18-foot length and 8-foot width for effortless conveyance by C-130 Hercules, 
or suspension beneath CH-47 Chinooks. The Nucleus is the dual launcher configuration. Each enclosure accommodating kinetic interceptors like net discharging projectiles or diminutive drones that release at velocities up to 100 meters per second to ensnare rotors or impact frames, reinforced by a 400 watt hour lithium ion battery array for durations up to 8 hours in standby or 2 hours in active mode. Rechargeable in 90 minutes through conventional outlets or vehicular alternators. Sensor fusion transpires via a core processor operating on an NVIDIA Jetson module with machine learning protocols for threat categorization, drawing from a 360-degree electro-optical infrared mast, elevating to 10 feet for 3-kilometer discernment, a K-band radar for all-weather pursuit down to 5 meters elevation, and directional microphones for auditory indications up to 1 kilometer all encased in an IP67 sealed enclosure impervious to dust, moisture, and small arms projectiles up to 5.56 millimeter rounds. Propulsion derives from the embedded chassis, alternatives like the Polaris MRZR 6x6 or Joint Light Tactical Vehicle Offshoot, with autonomous suspension propelling 35 miles per hour off-road and a 12-inch ground clearance to traverse streams up to 2 feet per found, whereas the system's open framework permits modular substitutions for effectors like directed energy lasers or sonic disruptors in under 30 minutes. Operationally, the procedure is refined and user-centric. A two-person team maneuvers to an advantageous locale, employing onboard guidance, elevates the sensor mast hydraulically in 15 seconds, surveys for perils with artificial intelligence, facilitated fusion that discriminates inaccuracies like avian interlopers, designates a drone through laser or coordinates, and discharges from the primary launcher as the secondary disrupts signals, all directed via a durable tablet from up to two kilometers distant with line of sight or satellite transmission, then repositions at 50 miles per hour to elude reprisal, rendering the Tempest a seamless sentinel for squads that can position multiple units for superimposed coverage in drone-saturated confrontations. The Tempest's strategic positioning is progressively indispensable within the counter-unmanned aerial system's domain, operating as a mobile, stratified safeguard to shield Vanguard components from aerial perils in dispersed maneuvers, especially for U.S. contingents or North Atlantic Treaty Organization associates confronting disseminated drone multitudes in metropolitan or expansive terrains where conventional aerial safeguards prove excessively cumbersome or sluggish. In tactical configurations, it amplifies unit fortification by prospecting ahead to identify and dismantle surveillance drones, impeding command linkages with electronic warfare from the secondary launcher, or establishing no-fly corridors around convoys with kinetic interceptions, alleviating the onus on limited aerial possessions and preserving ground contingents concentrated on the assignment, and its expandability facilitates groupings of four to six vehicles, enveloping a square kilometer for zone negation or synchronization involvements. For exceptional maneuvers, its muted electric modality, beneath 50 decibels, and adaptable instruments render it exemplary for penetration assistance, with the artificial intelligence assimilating from engagements to hone evasion or targeting, consonant with precepts like the U.S. Army's multi-domain operations for amalgamated unmanned safeguarding. An entertaining facet is that the Tempest net interceptors can entangle a drone's rotors from 50 meters, metamorphosing a humming scout into an innocuous tumbleweed. Another captivating element, amid AUSA 2025 exhibitions, it nullified a Class 3 drone in under 10 seconds amid fog, illustrating its all-weather superiority. The most recent advancements as of October 16, 2025, sustain the Tempest's momentum subsequent to its disclosure at the Association of the United States Army Annual Convocation on October 13, where V2X exhibited the apparatus's artificial intelligence-propelled discernment and dual launcher confrontation, establishing it as a front-runner in ambulatory counter-unmanned aerial systems for elevated peril assignments like outpost safeguarding and vanguard prospecting. Merely three days prior, on October 13, preliminary evaluations from the occasion lauded its 500-pound encumbrance and eight-hour vitality for continual undertakings, with V2X alluding to alliances for U.S. Army assessments in nascent 2026 amid fascination from exceptional contingents. 
No packs were executed immediately, yet the exhibition's direct annulment of a Class II drone garnered assemblies, and societal media entries from October 14th accentuated its equilibrium on irregular topography and expeditious reconfiguration. Obstacles such as artificial intelligence principles and electronic warfare impedance persistence, but with V2X's adaptable emphasis, the Tempest's primed for broader examination by mid-2026. The Tempest Mobile Fires platform is a sturdy ward for the drone epoch, amalgamating dual launchers with sensor acumen to preserve the firmament unblemished and terrestrial contingents secure. What are your reflections on the Tempest? Are you astounded by its all-weather nullifications, zealous for army assessments, or inquisitive about its exceptional maneuvers compatibility? Kindly impart your acumen in the annotations beneath. Bestow this video a like if it affixed for you. Disseminate it with your Safeguard Tech Collective. And if you haven't heretofore, strike that subscribe fastener for more profound immersions into the apparatuses sculpting contemporary combat. Gratitude for observing, and I'll encounter you in the succeeding one.